Now, you might notice that he's got a pretty close trim here on the beard and on his hair. I'm not going to paint those in or anything like that. I'm going to actually pull those from a channel. Let's look through the channels, see which one provides the best contrast between the foreground and background. In this case, probably green. Let's duplicate that channel. And I'm going to bring up a curve and apply a curve to this copy I just made. This is the process that I use to create a channel mask. I'm going to add contrast. Try not to destroy too much information right here along the edge. And try not to fill in too much by dragging up the black point. Using the dodge and burn tools, you can adjust your mask. Now, dodge and burn tools, I use only for mask manipulation. They were originally created with the intention that they be used on pixel layers to dodge and burn stuff but that's destructive editing and clearly we don't do any of that anymore. So the best thing that they're used for now and they're really powerful is to manipulate masks. So I'll show you real quick how to use those on my channel to create a really good mask. I'm gonna trim off some of the edge information here from his chin here. just to create a nice edge. Now, up here in his hair, it wasn't quite as dark as the chin. I'm gonna use a lasso. Outline the area of the hair that I want to increase contrast with a curve. And crank it up until I get a little bit more density. Drop that. I'm going to go use my burn tool to fill that in so I have a nice solid mask edge. I'm going to use that a little bit on the chin here. All right, that's good. I'm gonna invert this channel. And do a little bit more dodging inside the hair up here to make sure it's clean. Those are good for me. I'm gonna set that as a selection by holding the down command and clicking that channel. Go back to my work back to my silo mask, command H to hide that selection, and I'm gonna paint into my mask with my brush, regular brush, on white, 100%. Oops, let's be a little bit more careful at the edge here. So now I've got all my masks really finessed. I've got a nice mask edge for the chin hair and the hair on his head. <clears throat> so I'm totally set up to move into the mood and grade now.